All right, now Samsung has released a brand new update for one of the good lock modules called Lockstar. And this update is gonna be very, very important and useful for those of you who are into lock screen customization. Now you see, this is the lock screen which I have set up on my Galaxy S24 Ultra with the latest version of the Lockstar module. Uh, now here you see the clock and I got these widgets which are available on One UI 6.1. And then I got these notification widget. And then you see, we have got this smart suggestion widget we had, which I've set up here. And I also have set up these steps and alarm widgets, which are the system default widgets. And now they are available at the bottom of the screen. Now these system widgets, we could add on the lock screen through the Lockstar module earlier as well, but there was a limitation. Now that limitation has been solved. Let me just open the phone and let me go to the good lock. On the Lockstar, I'll tap on more and go to the store. Now here, let me show you the latest version. This is uh, 6.1.00.4. And in the change log, it says the widget can be freely moved from the bottom fixed position. From One UI 6.1, this app only supports the lock screen on devices where the operation between the lock screen and AOD is integrated. Now this has been the notification whenever we got uh, the update for the Lockstar module. That's only for the One UI 6.1. Now the important point here is the widget can be freely moved from the bottom fixed position. Now let me break this down for you. Let's go back and open the Lockstar module. Now this is the customization menu on the Lockstar module. Now here you see we have got this widget area depicted in a rectangle. Now this indicates that the latest One UI 6.1 widgets will be sitting in this area. It is just letting us know so that we don't overlap the new widgets that we are going to set on the other areas of the screen. Now when I tap on this, you see I can move the clock here and these widgets also will get moved. This is something which was already there. Now, when I tap on this widget, I could actually move to any area that I want. On the One UI 6.0, on this Galaxy S23 uh, Ultra, I could only move this in this area. I could not move it to any other area. It was completely restricted. Now we can move these widgets anywhere we want. As you can see, uh, I can move all these widgets from the top uh, to the bottom. Any area I want, I can just set this up. Now, uh, to set the new widgets here, all you need to do is just tap on this empty space. You see, we have got add sticker option, add widget option, and we also have this uh, music widget, which is available here. I'm not sure for what reason it is separately given here. Uh, probably they could add this widget also inside the add widget option. This area is just being wasted here. I can just tap on this add widget option and uh, add any of these widget system widgets and third party widgets onto the lock screen. For some reason, the KWGT widget I'm not able to add. Uh, I could add the widget, but that will remain the blank widget. When I tap on that widget, I don't get to add the uh, third party widgets on that KWGT area. Now let's say I want to add a widget here. I will tap on battery widget. Now if I want to add this widget, I can just tap on this and tap on add. Uh, that widget will be uh, saved right on the lock screen. It will be on the top left corner. I can move it around and I can place it wherever I want. And I can also resize it. And if I want to go to the settings of this widget, I can just tap on this icon here. Uh, it shows me the settings option and it also shows me uh, the transparency for that particular widget. I can change the transparency. Now here there's a bug. You see when I change the transparency, uh, the background gets blurred and even the contents, uh, the uh, letters or the words here will also get blurred. That's an issue. Only the background should get blurred and we should be able to see the contents, uh, the uh, words and letters here in the dark font. Now that is not happening here. You see, it is not even visible here as you can see. Uh, this is something which Samsung might have to fix. Let me just uh, save this and see if uh, it works. I just saved this. Let me lock the phone. Yes, this is an issue. You can see the background is blurred and even the contents, the letters and words are also blurred here. Uh, this should have been in uh, the dark font. Now let me go back. Let me just uh, open the phone and go back there on the Lockstar customization. Now I'll just remove this particular widget. Now let's get back to the lock screen and let's try to tap on this widget and see whether it's going to take us to the uh, associated app or not. Let me tap on steps. Yes, it is going to ask me to unlock the phone and when I unlock the phone, it will directly take me to the uh, Samsung Health application. Now let me tap on alarms. You can see I can directly go to the alarms by tapping on that widget. Now let me tap on any of these applications from the smart suggestion widget. Let me tap on uh, the one hand operation plus application and let me unlock the phone here. As you can see, the one hand operation plus application is opened. Let me try this again. I'll tap on Galaxy Store and I'll unlock the phone 
you see Galaxy Store is unlocked here. This is just fantastic. Now, for some reason, it is not asking me to unlock the phone when I tap on the application. Maybe this is a bug. Samsung might want to fix this. Uh, however, this is working perfectly fine. I can just tap on the application from the Smart Suggestion widget and unlock the phone to directly access that application. Now, this is the all new update we have received for the Lockstar application on the Good Lock module. If you're into lock screen customization, then you would love to uh, customize using this Lockstar module. The all new Lockstar module enables us to move these widgets, the system widgets on the lock screen uh, to any corner of the screen. That is just amazing. Let me know what you think about this. Are you someone who customizes your lock screen? Drop a comment. And just to inform you guys, this update is currently available on the Galaxy S24 series on the latest One UI 6.1, not available for the other devices running on One UI 6.0. However, you will be getting this feature very soon. You will be able to uh, move these widgets on the lock screen to any corner that you want. Thanks for watching. If you want to know your phone better, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this informational. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.